you guys? How are you doing? Good. 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 Can you tell us who you are and what you do in the band? I'm Justin, and I play guitar. Dan, I play drums. Lee, I play bass. So, we're here in Cologne for Euroblast Festival, where you'll be headlining tomorrow. What do you think about this year's lineup? Uh, I think it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, pretty exciting. A lot of, a lot of talent. Excited to see Jeff Loomis. <laughs> are you looking forward to playing? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yep. Well, Euroblast Festival is often associated with the Gen phenomenon. Although you guys were playing this style of music long before Gen was a thing, you're often consi considered a part of it. What's your take on it? Um, I think I think it's cool. Be uh, part of it's cool because I feel like uh, if somebody can like find out about your band just by um, maybe finding out, maybe someone would call us that, and then someone that might like something that sounds that way maybe would hear of our band by that, and I think that's cool. But I mean, I don't really care too much about it because it's like we're kind of just playing the music that like we grew up listening to. And I, before a couple years ago, I I didn't even think that word was around. So it's like. It's it's kind of whatever, you know. It's that's my take on it. I don't <laughs> I don't know. So this is your first show in Europe in a while. What's the difference between playing shows in North America and in Europe? Um, I think the difference is we can play a lot of uh, shows a lot closer together out here, whereas we could stay in one country for like four or five days. We'll tour in the United States and we'll drive four or five hundred miles between each show. And the amount of traveling is just dramatically increased. Um, there's a lot of things that we realize, like when we're on tour at home, that we don't get over here, like how connected we are, even with just like our cell phones and being able to be on the internet on a daily basis. Like that's sort of taken away when we're over here. And I think it's actually kind of a good thing because it actually kind of makes you realize how connected you really are. Yeah. Maybe you're too connected. You know what I mean? Spend a little bit too much time on the, on yeah. the cell phones. But over here, like, everyone's like, like, where's the Wi Fi? And then, yeah. like, you got 20 people in the touring package just all using the same signal in Europe and that just doesn't work. <laughs> you get know? to hang out a little bit more over here just because there's a lot less time spent on computers and telephones and stuff like that. We actually yep. end up going out and hanging out with each other. Like to appreciate little, little the little sights. More. Yeah. yeah. Things, yep. Talking to each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in real life. <laughs> Not posting on, on Trent's Facebook page and saying, hey, grab me a beer from the dressing room. <laughs> and he does, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Um, you guys tour a lot. Like this year, you were on the Vans Warp tour. You mm -hmm. supported Whitechapel on their headlining tour. You just completed a short run with Reflections and the Contortionist. Mm -hmm. Um, and it seems like you guys are constantly on the road. So where do you find the time to write new music? It's, it's tough. Um, it, it, usually what we'll need to do is designate a time to do that. Yeah. Um, sometimes we have such a short time at home where it's like, well, we're home with just enough time to pack again, you know, and that's kind of crazy. But I mean, be, being on the road is part of like what we do. And, you know, we, we were on the road eight months or something, 2011. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. But we have uh, we have a pretty extended break coming up after this because Euroblast is our only European only appearance this year for the rest of the year. So uh, we'll be finding time to do that um, to get back into writing as soon as this uh, the show is over. We fly back home. Yeah. All right. Uh, in December last year, you announced that a new album was in the works, and then in March you posted a short uh, pre-production video with some. Uh, Teasers, bits yeah. and teasers for new material, mm -hmm. and then since then we haven't really heard about anything about it anymore. Yeah. So how is it coming along? And well, we shortly after that video was released, um, we did continue writing for a while, and then we went on warp tour, which was oh, okay. uh, fifty six days long, two months, yeah, yeah. Jesus, two months yeah. straight. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where a bulk of that time <laughs> went. And um, we actually managed. I set up a little rig on the bus and managed to do some recording. Um, actually on the tour, but that's never easy. Like, it always seems like, oh, technically maybe we could do some work on the road. The reality is, is that there's just so many distractions around where it's kind of hard just to be 100% focused because when you got the, the studio rig on the bus, you got people tripping over the wires, you know what I mean? It's just a mess. <laughs> but, uh... Personal space is at a, a premium on tour. <laughs> you're, always, you're always sharing your space with somebody that makes it a little makes tough it a to little get work tough, off. But, um... But yeah, then uh, we, we just got home from that at the end of August, and that was about, what, like a month and a half ago, pretty much, 
two months and uh, we've been writing since and uh, we actually have some stuff recorded already and I'm not sure what the plan for that is yet but the uh, the full length is in the works right now so um, it's too early to say any definitive release date but I have a feeling we'll be working pretty hard on it as soon as we get home from uh, Euroblast. All right. In the video, you also, like, there's kind of a running joke in a video mm -hmm. about you being very apprehensive about working with uh, producers. Mm -hmm. uh, is that still the case? <laughs> well, we found my little nephew. He's one, and I think he's going to be... It's I think natural. He, I, he's just bringing out parts of our music that I've never even heard or thought of before. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we've always, like, we've always enjoyed being able to, you know, sort of produce it ourselves and track it ourselves. Now with this one, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be either taking on a co-production role or just producing it ourselves, but we will be probably working with someone else for mixing because uh, that kind of, that's kind of a challenge in itself because I feel like once you're at the end of your, you know, recording process and then it comes time to mix your own thing, it's like, I just, at least me personally, I. I'll get a mix and be like, oh, that sounds so heavy. And then, and then I'll put in like a, another album, let's say like a Pantera CD, be like, oh, that's what music sounds like. And I'll just scrap and start over. Because <laughs> I get so desensitized to like what you've been so used to hearing, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we can, we're definitely going to look into that. I think, uh, I think we might have something up our sleeves. So. All right. Uh, earlier this month, some live footage of a new song started appearing on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's called A Wolf Amongst Ravens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, are we going to hear some new material at the festival as well? Actually, we're going to perform that song tonight. Absolutely. Or not tomorrow night, I'm sorry. Tomorrow, yeah. 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 And uh, we also heard that it's uh, you play in a, in a drop, drop C. Yeah. So an octave below, drop C. It's um, how do you make that sound good? How do you make that? It was kind of a... I don't want to say it was a flute because... <laughs> I don't know exactly, I know how it happened, but I don't, I can't really explain it fully in detail, but it's, it's definitely strange because we, it was more of an experiment than anything else. Uh, Trent, um, or actually our string company, Labella, they came out to her show in New York last year and they're like, here's some uh, prototype 90 gauge strings. <laughs> Jesus. And Trent ended up taking them home with him because we only had a couple. And then he called me and he's like, hey, you got to hear this. And it turns out he threw it on his, uh, he's got an Ibanez RG2228. He threw the, threw the 90 on there and he tuned it down to C sharp. So the rest of the guitar is tuned into B flat standard. Um, and the sound, he made this, we use the fractal audio axe effects. He used, he made this patch that was the strangest sounding thing I've ever heard before. And I was like, you know what? I kind of think that's cool. And it was like weird because you're hitting this low note, but there's like this overtone oh, yeah. that actually made it sound musical. Mm -hmm. And when I heard that, I'm like, maybe maybe we're on to something here. Because every other time I ever try to tune my guitar down low, it just it doesn't sound yeah. It doesn't sound right. It kinda just it sounds like a bass with like with like a big muff like pie distortion pedal on it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's cool and everything, but not for, you know, metal, but or maybe it is, and I just don't know it. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so basically what we did was we made this patch, and then we did uh, some sort of post-EQ, and uh, I used it in Logic Pro to like try to see if this was going to be able to be recorded, and literally took all the low end out of the guitar completely. Like, there's no low end in the signal whatsoever. And, um, and then Lee's bass, like he's tuned to the same note. And yeah, I, I took a five string and uh, I ended up tuning a half step up uh, from standard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I tuned the, the B strings up a full step to C sharp. So it, it was a, uh, it's a little bit, I play the parts a little bit differently than these guys. But uh, yeah, I went up instead of going down. Keep the tension on there, really light set of strings instead of yeah. something heavier.